Hey everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you a little bit of a mix between jellies and reflectives that I did. I'm using here some Brazilian brands of all this uh, reflective glitters and the jellies, and I'm also comparing with Holo Tacos reflective glitter. And I'm also going to do a matte top coat on top of it just to see how it affects the reflectiveness. I'm starting here with the jellies, and I try to combine the colors of the jellies with the colors of the reflective glitters because they do have like different colors it's not just a silver reflective so i was able to find like some matches between the reflectives and the jellies and just a reminder that the idea of a jelly polish is to be translucent it's not that it's like a bad polish or doesn't have good coverage uh, that's the idea and just because it's a jelly it's not supposed to be streaky by any means uh, that's what I like about jellies. It's hard for them to look streaky. I just really like them. I'm doing two coats here and then going in with the reflective of each. Another thing I did, uh, not with the jellies, but with regular polish, was to combine complementary colors. So like doing a green and a pink or a red. And that kind of worked really well. So I did one color of the base and one color of the reflective glitter and they were complementary colors. So that looks pretty cool as well if it's something you want to try. But for this one, I was going with colors that were a little more matchy-matchy. And going in here with the glitters some were good matches like this one that's kind of like a salmon color I think it was good but you will see like the green is very different shades of green so that might have affected a little bit of the end result and I really like this collection that this brand came out with of the reflective glitters it's a brand called hits here in Brazil I like that they didn't go just for the silver one they really just did one in each color and at, honestly a really accessible price and I was just blown away by this collection. The blue is another one that is also not a very good match. The jelly is more of a purple and then the reflective glitter is more of a blue but I think it still matches. I think the green was the most off one but the, the blue and purple still match quite well. And for all of them, I'm showing on the flashlight of the cell phone, just so you can see the reflectiveness of the glitter. And these glitters, I'm not sure if this is true for all reflectives, like the Holo Taco, I don't see this as much, but this collection they shine even when they don't have like the flash direct light on them. Even just regular lighting, I still think they are very shiny glitters. And what I'm showing here, one thing you can see with those glitters is really easy to see where you need to clean up if you just turn like the flash lighting because it will shine so brightly in your face wherever you get the polish that you need to remove. And this glitter, again, not sure if this is true for all reflectives. Again, did not see this with Holo Taco, but this one dries matte. So if you want it to be a shiny finish, you have to go in with a top coat. 
which does not affect the reflectiveness of the glitter. Uh, but just one thing to note, I know like neon polishes are a type of polish that tend to dry matte. This is something I saw with these reflective glitters. And they are really textured as well. In this case, since we're doing like a jelly sandwich, you don't, that's already gonna help smooth it out. But if you're just doing the glitter or you're doing the glitter as the final coat, you're really gonna need a heavy top coat because they are really textured. And you can see on the glitter sandwich with the jelly that it does decrease a little bit of the shininess, but it still comes through. Like it doesn't totally erase it or diminishes it. You can still see it, which I think is cool if you want to go like a little more understated and not as bright with the glitters. That's definitely an option. And it still gives you a little something extra with the jellies. Another thing you guys will note, some of the reflectives are brighter. I think that's just due to the color, but that's also a difference you can see in how much it shines through with the flash. And here's the final result before top coat, just to see how it looks. Still a little bit of texture. Now going in with the top coat. Again, the top coat is not supposed to affect the brightness of the glitter. And also going in with the matte top coat to see how it looks. I know some people like it. I'm not a big fan of the matte finishes, uh, but just to show you can still see the glitter. And if you shine the flash with the matte, it's still gonna come through the reflectiveness. I don't think it affected at all, to be honest. It's just a little diminished because of the jelly sandwich there. But I think you can do a matte top coat just fine. And here, I just wanted to compare this collection from Brazilian brand with like an indie, like Hollow Taco. And the first thing you can see, like Hollow Taco has smaller particles and more sparse. So it's definitely a more discreet look. It still shines quite all right, but I think even in person, especially, the other ones shine much more than the Hollow Taco one. And when you don't have the flashlight on it, it barely shines, the Hollow Taco ones. Here is shining a little bit because of the ring light but in person is like you just have little dots on your nail. And it's fine. It depends on what you're going for. The other ones are really in your face. <laughs> this one a little more discreet. Just what I found with the comparison here. This is the jelly sandwich with reflective glitters. And speaking of Hollow Taco, I think this like combination colors looked a lot like their anniversary collections, like the jellies they did for the anniversary collection, combining, in this case, hollow glitters. It wasn't reflective. I think it ended up very similar to that. So yeah, I hope you guys liked it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.